Hey everyone, and welcome back. You know, sticking to your asthma meds, it's something, um, well, let's face it, it's a challenge even when you're feeling good, right? It really is, and it's so important. Absolutely. That's why this deep dive is all about tackling those medication hurdles. We've got a fantastic guide to unpack today, all about making those daily doses feel less like a chore, you know? More like just part of your routine. I think that's key routine. Because sticking to an asthma medication plan, I've got to be honest, it can be surprisingly tricky. For sure. So the guide's emphasis on these super practical strategies, that's what makes it so valuable for actually seeing results, I think, for, mm -hmm. you know, actually taking control of your health. 100%. So let's dive right in. Like, Im imagine a typical day, right? You wake up late, your routine is totally thrown off. What happens to your meds in those moments? It's so easy to forget or, I don't know. Just... Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. Just not prioritize it when everything's chaotic. And and this is where the guide had some really clever tips on navigating those disruptions. Like one that really stood out to me was packing what they call a dedicated medicine bag. Like imagine you're going on a trip. Okay, yeah. Pack this separate bag just for your meds. That way you're less likely to leave it behind in the frenzy of packing everything else. Or say you have that big meeting and you know you might get caught up in last minute prep. Right, right. Set a discreet phone alarm. Maybe even label it breathe easy or something. I love that. That way, it's not just a random alarm. It's a reminder of why this matters. Totally. And speaking of things that matter, one of the biggest things the guide emphasizes, and I know this is something that uh, you see a lot in your work too, is the importance of not running out of your medication. Absolutely, yeah. It's huge. Huge. Like, this guide actually calls it out as its most important point. It makes sense, right. Because... You know, life happens, you get busy, things slip your mind. Mm. But running low on a central medication like that, that's a recipe for stress and potential health risks. Right. So what the guide really stresses is proactive communication with your healthcare team. Mark those refill dates on your calendar. Use those reminder apps. You know, there are so many out there. Make refilling your meds as routine as, say, buying groceries. Yeah, yeah. It shouldn't be something you only think about when you're down to the last pill. Okay, so we've talked about routine changes, right? We've talked about staying on top of refills. But then there's this. You're about to take your meds, and bam, phone rings, kids need something, work emails are blowing up. Oh, yeah, interruptions. Constant interruptions. The struggle is real. It's like trying to, I don't know, meditate during rush hour. <laughs> it's tough to focus. But you know what I found fascinating? The guide's take on this wasn't about, like becoming a hermit and avoiding all human contact. It was actually about politely asserting yourself. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a really important distinction mm -hmm. because it's not about being rude or dismissive. It's about recognizing that your health is a priority. Imagine if you were about to eat after waiting like hours and someone tried to whisk your plate away. No way. Yeah, you wouldn't just let that happen, Exactly. Right? Medication is the same thing. It's fuel for your body. Exactly. It needs it. And, you know, sometimes you've just got to advocate for yourself to make sure you get what you need. I remember this one time, oh, this is a little embarrassing, but I had to take my inhaler in, like, a crowded elevator. Oh, been there. It was awkward, yeah. but also necessary. Uh, 100%. I had to do it. But, okay, then there's that other hurdle. And this one is sneaky. When you're feeling good. Oh, yeah. So you skip the meds. Because you think, oh, I feel fine. I don't need them today. <laughs> oh, yeah. Guilty as charged. We've all been tempted. It's almost like saying you don't need to exercise today because you're already fit. You yeah. Know? But that's not really how it works, right? No, not at all. Especially with asthma. A lot of these medications, it's not just about feeling okay in the moment. It's about managing that underlying inflammation, keeping things under control long term, skipping doses even if you feel okay, mm. can actually make you more vulnerable to sudden flare-ups down the road. That makes so much sense. And that's where I think the guide's ideas about tying your meds to a daily habit are so brilliant. Like what? Like brushing your teeth. Right. You don't skip brushing your teeth just because your teeth feel fine that day. No, yeah. you brush them every day. Exactly. So if you link your meds to a habit like that, it just becomes second nature. Okay, so we've tackled feeling good, we've tackled interruptions, but what about when you're dealing with multiple medications? That can get overwhelming. It really can. I mean, yeah. the guide talks about like color coding your meds, making charts, basically using any visual aid you can to stay organized. Have you seen patients using those strategies effectively? Oh, absolutely. And I think the key here is really just anything that makes it crystal clear what to take and when. You know, I've even had patients 
create what I like to call a weekly medication menu. A menu. I like that. Yeah, they use pill organizers labeled by day and time. And, you know, it's visual. It's organized. Takes the guesswork out of it. So smart. Okay, but we have to talk about side effects. Oh, yeah. That's a big one, right? Especially for people concerned about long-term effects, maybe. Mm -hmm. And that's where I think the guide really emphasizes building trust with your doctor. Yeah, it's crucial. Because, look... New options for asthma medications are always being developed. And, yeah. you know, sometimes we might hesitate to speak up about side effects. We might think, oh, it's not a big deal. or I'll just tough it out. Right, right. But the thing is, you shouldn't have to tough it out. Yeah. Your doctor wants to find what works best for you. And open communication is the key to that. Absolutely. And then, of course, we have to acknowledge the elephant in the room or maybe the, uh, the price tag on the bottle. Financial barriers are real. Absolutely, they are. The guide mentions a few things like looking into generic brands, connecting with social services. All great suggestions. And again, I think this comes back to communication. Healthcare costs can feel like this taboo topic, but they don't have to be. Talk to your healthcare provider about what you can afford. You know, they're often aware of programs of options that we as patients might not even know about. So much great advice. It really all comes down to taking that first step and talking to someone. So much good stuff here today. And I think if listeners take away anything from this deep dive, it should be this. There are so many ways to make medication routine. It doesn't have to be a burden. Not a burden at all. And as you go about your week, think back to the past month. What's one situation where these tips could have made a difference for you? Because at the end of the day, that's where the real power of this information lies in applying it to your own life. Absolutely. It's about making it work for you.